Well, today's hot news is about Russian ammo being bought by the U.S. military, Picatinny Arsenal, New Jersey. And this is my dog cat, Putin the cat. He's like a dog. He follows me everywhere. He's loyal as all hell. He's going to be my ammo carrier. I'm going to teach him uh, to bolt this shit on the side of him here. And you can carry some stuff for me, man. Right? And run back and forth and get me more ammo in case I need it. Anyway, <laughs> we'll get some more ammo. Uh, the, uh, the, I don't know, I heard about, I know about the uh, Homeland, Homeland Security, whatever the hell they are, buying up like billions of rounds. And this is only millions of rounds, but it's Russian ammo. It's a 7.62 by 39 millimeter, which is the uh, AK-47 ammo. I don't know what the hell they're buying this shit for, and like so much of it. It's 2 million rounds, plus 550,000 rounds, and... Um, 575 and 425 so well over I guess three and a half million rounds of Russian ammo now I guess you can make a conspiracy about this because we got you know Russian troops in the United States working with Homeland Security against terrorism I don't know what the hell the deal is but it's going over to Picatinny Arsenal which is uh yeah, I used to be up that place, you know, <laughs> Picatinny. It's a funny name. It's by Lake Apaca on New Jersey. And uh, they're buying up the ammo. They're, you know, they were, that's actually where they used to make the cannonballs for George Washington, by the way. You know, a lot of people read this article, what's going on currently. They don't know nothing about Picatinny Arsenal. They used to make the cannonballs for George Washington. You know, they go back a couple years. But uh, they're sending... Uh, they're sending this stuff over to uh, various places, uh, you know, in Texas and things like that, and uh, it's going to be by the, you know, the, the best bidder, which maybe that's going to be Russia and China. Who the hell knows? But I never really heard of, like, the U.S. military buying lots of Russian ammo. That's really weird, and I don't know why they're doing this. Are they trying to dry up the supply of ammo? I don't... I don't know. I don't know, man. So, uh, it's, it's a weird-ass story, man. So, I don't know what the hell to think of it, though. I mean, uh, you know, if I was Alex Jones, I could be going, bah! and, you know, the Russians are coming, and I don't know, but there's something weird going on with this thing, because that's highly unusual. I, I, don't, I just never heard of any. They really don't train with <laughs> Russian ammo, especially a few million rounds. So, I don't know why they're buying it. But, you know, it could be putting more pressure on what little ammo is there is out there because it looks like, um, as far as ammo goes, you know, the Department of Homeland Security bought up a lot of regular ammo, and they already stopped, I think they stopped a lot of the ammo coming in from, like, Wolf was one of them, which was, like, a Russian brand. I forgot what brand it is, but imported ammo, they stopped that. Now, they're going to buy up local ammo, which you figure there's not too much of that around that's Russian. You know, most of the most of the uh, ammo manufacturers in the United States are producing American calibers, and usually it was like the Russians and the Chinese producing the Russian ammo and the import. I think they stopped the imports on that. Now they're buying up this stuff. And I'm telling you, so this is some kind of BS going on here. So I don't want to make too too much of a conspiracy out of out of it but I don't like it all right so uh, I don't know what the hell they're doing with this bullshit because you know right on the heels of uh, Department of Homeland Security buying enough ammo for like way over a hundred years and these guys buying up all these uh, rounds from uh, from you know it's Picatinny Arsenal buying it up for other places like in Texas and stuff like that I don't know what the hell they're gonna be doing with Russian ammo and also, you know, them stopping the ammo from coming in the United States, too. So, is your communist Obama at that work? Uncle Tom Obama, man. So, uh, hey, recycle your ammo. Save that brass, man. Even if you don't, that brass will probably be worth more than you can imagine because it's going to, maybe it's going to go into scarce supply. Who knows? Who knows? But this is an interesting story.